I always love coming to Houston. We had some amazing one-on-one -on -one personal spiritual encounter sessions, and I met some very unusual demons. Not the sort of standard Beelzebub, Lucifer, Leviathan kind of thing. I dealt with the spirit of Orion in one case. And also another situation where I dealt with the ancient Roman god Neptune, a water spirit. Well, you'll be hearing more about these kinds of things as I write about them and blog about them. But God is setting people free. And spiritual warfare is all about taking on the enemy where he is and bringing God's people out of darkness. I want to talk to you for a moment about some things that happened to me recently when I was in California. I love California. I love the people out there. We spent a lot of time there, but things get a little strange in California. I was at the San Diego airport last weekend, checking into my rental car, and as I was passing through the airport terminal, I noticed three bathrooms. Men, women, and all gender. And I wondered, what is that all about? And I began to wonder, how far is this going to go? Is another special interest group going to come along? Are we going to have four bathrooms, five bathrooms, six bathrooms? And of course, the taxpayers have to pay for all of this at a public facility to accommodate people who are special interest groups. Now, I'm not here to knock any particular group. I'm just saying, isn't it getting a little bit out of hand? But something that's really out of hand is a new pot proposal in California. Now, you're not going to believe this. It's just too far out. They're concerned about those who have been convicted of drug crimes being reintegrated into the community. And so the proposal now, get this, because it's unbelievable, is that if you are African-American and you have been convicted of a drug crime, the state will loan you interest-free money to open a pot shop to sell marijuana. You know, they've legalized it on January 1 of this year. Recreational marijuana is now okay in California. And their idea of helping out ex-cons, particularly those who have been convicted of drug crimes, and only those who are black, whites, Caucasians need not apply, is to give them money, taxpayers' money, to open head shops, pot shops, to sell marijuana. I'm certain that my friends in the African-American community must be outraged at these drug thugs being invited back into their neighborhoods to sell the drugs that got them into the, the problems that they've had in the first place. This is absolutely insane. You know, it reminds me of the words of the Apostle in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, that the God of this world has blinded the eyes of those who do not believe. Some of the absurd things that we're seeing in our society can only be described as a blinding of the devil, obscuring just basic decency and morality in the minds of people. And that's why this ministry is more committed than ever to fight this fight against the forces of darkness, to raise up more highly educated alumni of our International School of Exorcism who are trained at the highest level possible with the knowledge of spiritual warfare to fight the forces of darkness. If you haven't enrolled yet, do so. Because this kind of information is increasingly important in the hour in which we live. And thanks to all of our partners, our friends, our supporters, the alumni of our School of Exorcism, God bless you for joining in this effort to set the captives free, to heal the brokenhearted, and to carry on the vision of this ministry so that those who are bound by the enemy have hope through Jesus Christ.